This one is actually just a toy. When we look in the book, if you go on the next one, uh, next one. Uh, sorry, there's a simple coloring. I'll just you open it up. Basically, what I did is I, I looked at what the example looked like in the book and I just colored it the same way. Um, now, if you think we're gonna, not going to have time to color it in the class and make it, um, it's up to you. Do you think we should? Uh, they should colour it maybe before and then bring it already coloured to the classroom? Or do you want them to colour it in my classroom? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. okay, so if you can colour it then, um, and then next week when you come to our um, project, if you can bring it coloured, good. Um, if, if you don't have time, it's okay. We can we can push them in class to, to finish it. Um, and we will provide the, the tape, I, I hope I can not. That is this paper tape, so it's not very sticky and it can, you can easily tear it off. So I was thinking of doing some measuring with them, 20 or 10 centimeters. So let's measure 10 and then from there to there and then we measure. And Tear it off, and I'll give them two. The one for the back, that is this one, and then one in the front. So it, it's free moving. Um, yeah, and that's the first lesson. Are there any questions? So I'll give them the spools, um, uh, I'll give them the tape, I'll give them the tapes. All they have to do is bring this, I don't have to fold it. Take the tape, wrap it around. Okay, it's a week. It's not one week. It's not one week. It's not one week. It's not one week. But it's not one week. So if you use it, it's not one week. It's not one week. It's not one week. 只是说有每组有一卷。这款呢，就是这个。用粘土那个怪。I just did the put this in the straw and then cut and then turn around and cut. So it's just two cuts. So this the scissors. I mean, I have I have some scissors in my room. They can just use those because it's going to take five seconds to make a cut. Should take five seconds. 对啊，你教对啊。粘土，粘土英文怎么讲？ Clay. Yeah. Any concerns? Clay. So we have a light breeze, then we have a strong wind that I've already introduced this week for the grade twos. And then we say uh, we can introduce two more. So a uh, swirling, very strong wind, so tornado. And then they'll be familiar with typhoon living in Taiwan. They should have experienced typhoon by now. So they just have like a desk on the middle of the classroom. So we put the fan on one side, we put it on the desk, and it should. So even if they put it down like this, it should, it should change, and then it will show the wind direction. So on the floor, I'm just going to say north and southwest. So I'll use my phone as a compass to get the wind direction. So then um, we can ask questions like we put the fan there, we put it on, and we put a an example there, oh, what direction is the wind blowing and then maybe they say something east or west or north or south. So very limited vocabulary, but um, it shows them just different wind directions. I think it's a fun graph. Mm -hmm. so, lots of rain and wind and then I will have these pictures up so I will tell them, okay, so in what happens. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's it's very relevant to the end as well. Some things that look like trees break and glass break bloody um, the cars and bridges might collapse. So sort of just open question where they can maybe from the experience or what they've been having and kind of mm, guide them. Story yeah, they've heard. So I think it's going to be very destructive. That's what we've heard. Yeah. Right, then um, for the craft I thought um, to, I 
That's quite <laughs> shocking, that. Right, so from there, I thought to expand, like, okay, so if I want to have very tall buildings, and how can we build those buildings better for a place that has typhoons and four big screens like the tornado there? So it's about shapes, and uh, which shapes is the best for building tall skyscrapers. So I found that um, there's the three buildings in somewhere in the Middle East, I'm not sure how to check it out, but it's quite cool because one building is a triangle, one is a circle, and one is a square. So I thought that's a good starting point, we can do the same. Um, for this one, I'll give them three papers, like this, um, and some sellotape, just a short piece of sellotape that they can use to stick. Now this is more of a STEM lesson, so very minimum guidance. We just tell them to make a round shape, to make a square shape and to make a triangular shape. But they can, like I did it lengthwise, they can do it along the width. So the building will be shorter, but it should be sturdier in the wind. So we have to tell them how they have to build something that's gonna be sturdy in the wind. Also, they might make it very, sort of the base very narrow. So like this one is very narrow, or they might try to make it as wide as possible. So to get the, increase the base size. So that's the two sort of, things that they can manipulate, how tall and how wide the building should be. Right, for this, um, when after they folded these, so we can just introduce, I can use it to like, again, touch color, I can use it to touch shapes and things like that. And then for this one, we're gonna put the buildings in the back of the room. Now all three is gonna fold. It's just the six, because I have six groups, yeah. 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 and then which one fell first, we write one, which one fell second, we write two, which one fell third, we write three, and then it gives them a score. So all the ones that fell down first, so maybe it will be like group one that was triangle, squares, circle, mm -hmm. and then hopefully, I don't know if it will, have, if it will work, but we'll see, um, hopefully the circle will have the highest score, and then you can say from the result, you can conclude that a circular building should be better, um, or, uh, should, should be a better building for a type of standard type of. I was thinking of just. And then to record what they see, you know, and then together as a class we come to a conclusion. So that's basically the idea of it. So if it's this one or this one or this one, it doesn't. I don't think it really matters. We can say it's not something like, oh, this one was built very firmly, very strong. We can say maybe there's a group that has a very wide circle. That's instead of doing it lengthwise, they did it and it's, it's quite short. We can say, why do you think that one fell off? Because it's shorter than the rest. So there's lots of. Because the paper we can reuse because our next theme will be magical paper and I want to have them make recycling paper. So then we're going to recycle this paper and we're going to use that. Um, we're doing two normal themes and then I'll also do Christmas just for one week. I'll do a Christmas theme when it's Christmas. But the first um, story or theme I'm going to do is all about the season. Because you know we're doing the weather this week and next week, you know about the rainy, snowy and cloudy. And then the next two weeks will be about the four seasons. So um, again, I will just ask them like normal. I come into the classroom, greet, I'll do my little warm up. I'll think about a new warm up. I know we're doing the one finger, two finger. Mm -hmm. So I'll do a, norm, a different warm up and then ask them questions. Uh, who likes winter? Why do you like winter? And see if they can 
and say you can translate wider than that fall or spring and then we'll just go on and I'll do the PowerPoint get a part of the story um, like summer, spring, winter and fall I'll just go quickly and then this time it's a video so it's again a video about um, the different four seasons so it's more about the season this time um, and then I'll do the language of learning one whether it's my dice or my magnets or the tracing I will decide which one they haven't done for a while and then the second week is just to be the same and then this time I'm going to review I did phonics up to L I think so I'll review A to um, E the phonics and then I'll also include the sight words for the story so now I'm going to review this um, the phonics because next semester I'll do the the phonics for the other letters Okay, so I did A to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, F, L. So this time we'll review the phonics and do the sight word. And then, you know this worksheet we did? Again, this time I won't show the, the weather condition, I'll show them winter. And they can tell me what to wear for winter. Because now they know the worksheet, they can give me the number at the end of each group and I will tick off. Mm -hmm. So the first two weeks in December, uh, I mean next week is still the weather. And then the first... The two weeks will all be about the four seasons. Any questions? And then the main thing is a dance. So I've got a it's called a Santa Claus is coming to town. So that lesson is more about a dance. I'm going to train them. They're going to follow me, and then we have look at the video, and they're going to dance the Santa. So it's more about a little bit of the uh, what Christmas is all about, and then it's about the dance. And then I have a little story called, Is That You, Santa? That one over there at the top. Is That You, Santa? So it's more of a story. We talk about Christmas and a nice dance. So very simple. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Santa, that's one week. It's just for fun. Oh. Oh, okay. okay, if that's no, just take care. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. You know this one? You come from the from the department. Are you going to teach them the skills? I think so. Yes, I have the like first. We can just practice. Because I can't sure. practice with this, I see. Then I can put on one, one more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This table here, it's so colorful. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Just oh, like, it's it's all of colors. It's all too many cups. <laughs> okay, so we're on 10, right? But the one that's the plain one, they just do some practice. Just practice, yeah. It's not. We're not going to make anything with it. Just like to practice the different techniques.